This demonstration is brought to you by MLDS Networks at www.mlds-networks.com. This is a demonstration of administration and navigating a Joomla website hosted at mldsnetworks.com. A basic Joomla website consists of a front page and administrative backend. To do anything useful, you'll need to log into administrative backend. To do that, go to your web page, add slash administrator to the end of the address. Then you'll be presented with administrative login. Log in with your administrative user and password. From here you will see the control panel. To the right you will see logged in users, available components to be able to control, popular websites, also those latest items, and statistics of menu hits. On the left are the main items for adding new content, managing existing content, managing items displayed on your front page, section managers, category managers, media manager, and menu manager. There's also a user manager and a language manager if you want to run a multi-language website. To quickly reach all these places from the administrative backend, there's a quick menu bar across the top. If you mouse over these, you will find quick ways to be able to jump to different sections, such as jumping to content specifically belonging to the news section, or the news flashes section, or to display all content items, or to see new section managers, which you could have also have reached from clicking this button. All content in Joomla is hierarchical. The overriding area is your entire website. Inside here you have sections, and then inside sections you have categories. And inside each category you have individual content items. Content items cannot belong to more than one category and they cannot belong to more than one section. It's a good idea to have good management in organizing the look and organization of your website. So let's create a new section, category, and some items inside those categories. To create a new section, I click on the section manager. We see existing sections, in this case news, frequently asked questions, and news flashes. We also see who can access them, and also whether or not they're published. If I want to unpublish the news one, I would just click the publish icon, and notice how it changes to an X users of your website will no longer see that content. If you wanted to delete an item or to copy an existing section, you would select that section, then press copy, create a new name, and press save in the top right. You always want to use the save, close, and apply on the top right and not just leave a web page without saving or closing an item. So let's create a new section. First hit new. All content in Joomla looks roughly the same. Notice that there will be an editor for description, which for the most part you can ignore. Most important thing is to put in a title for our new section. So our new section is going to be called Animals. I normally make the section name and title to be the same. I could hit apply, which would save the new section I just created, but it would leave me here to be able to continue editing it. It's a good idea when creating a long item to con continuously save what you're doing. You can click save to save it and return to the original listing. I now see the listing of animals. If I use the quick menu at the top, click category manager, go to the categories. If you remember, categories are live inside sections. I'm going to create a new category. Again we see a listing of all the existing categories. So this category which belongs to animals I'm going to call dog. Again I can put a description of this category and some other information but for the most part it can be avoided. Notice how there's this extra listing called section. I want to change this to the section I want this to belong to. In this case I want it to belong to animals. I hit save to save all the settings and return to the listing. Now I see the listing of dog and it is by default published. I want to create another category. In this case it's going to be a category about cats. So I create a category about cats. I save it. 
And I can see how I have a category about cats and a category about dogs. Whoops. Notice how I screwed up here and that cats belongs to old news. I forgot to change the section. So if I click back on cats, it brings me into the editor. Oh no, it won't let me change it. So what can I do? I have to delete it unfortunately at the moment. Oops, notice how I clicked on that, I went to the wrong location. I go back to Category Manager. I hit Cats. I delete Cats. I hit OK. In this case, instead of creating a new section, I'm going to copy an existing one. So I click the checkbox for the category dog. I hit Copy. I say I want it to belong to animals. And I hit Save. Notice how I have one called copy of dog. It belongs to the section animals. Go ahead and hit copy of dog. Rename it to cats. And hit save. You can rename the name of a section or category at any time. And any belonging categories or items will automatically be updated. So now I can go to content items. Notice how there's a bunch, all your content shows up here. On the top right here, you can say, show me only the items that belong to the section animal. Notice how there isn't anything right now. Or if I want to see a specific category inside that section also, or I can just leave it full listing. I hit new. I've input some content. I'm going to make that bold. And maybe I want to add my maybe I want to add a line. And then I want to add my email address. You then highlight it, press link, in the email address, put my email address that I want to use, and a subject for that email. So if someone visits your website and clicks on this link to send you an email, it will automatically pull up their email client and input this subject. Press insert. It's all done. Hit save. Oh no, I have to select a category. Notice here how even though it looks the same as the category and section editors, that there's a section by default it's animals. I can select that I want this to be part of cats. Hit save. Now I have a content item called meow that belongs to the section animals in the category cats. This has been a presentation of MLDS Networks. Later presentations will show how to create a menu item so we can link to our new content and how you can do other things with your Joomla website.